Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Mantho, and today I'm going to be going over my Marksman Hunter artifact pathing just because I figured that I haven't made one of these videos yet and I definitely should be making a video. Uh, should have been one of the first things that I did, but I didn't for some reason, but I'm going to be doing one today. So uh, I'm going to be going over PvP and PvE artifact pathing in my opinion. So for the first one, uh, I'm going to go over PvP. First, you're obviously going to start off with Wind Burst, because you need to unlock this, and then you need to go down to Wind Arrows. Uh, they automatically unlock. And then, after this, if you're going to go for PvP, uh, I would definitely suggest going AoE, because that's what Marksman Hunters do uh, like best right now. They're like top AoE classes, especially for BGs, if you're trying to top damage, get a lot of pressure out there. It's really, really important, and you just get a lot of pressure out there. So you're going to want to go to Cod Shot which is over to the left and increase your damage dealt by sidewinders if you max it out it's dealt by 10% and increase it by 10% which is a huge damage buff because you have sidewinder procs all the time and they keep your mark shots up uh, and your vulnerable buff up as well now one of the second important ones that you're gonna need uh, this one's not really AoE but it's legacy of the wind runners really any golden trait or big trait that you can get is definitely gonna help you out more than any of the other traits but the reason that I went with this one is because for single target uh, it does some insane damage for like bosses for PvE so this would be more of a PvE one or if you're trying to do some 2v2s trying to nuke someone down and duel stuff like that but it also could be used for battlegrounds but it only shoots to one target but it still does a lot of damage but the reason that you're going to come up to this gold trait uh, as quick as you can uh, for AoE is for Wind Runner's Guidance right here. It increases the damage done by your mark shot by 3%. Now this is huge guys because our Sidewinders right here with Cold Shot increases the damage um, of Sidewinders by 10%. And then if you didn't know Sidewinder has a chance to put a vulnerable buff up which makes them take 150% more damage. And then if you're running Wind Runner's Guidance if you have it maxed all the way out it'll be 9 or 10% I believe. Uh, right now I only have mine at 1% or well 1 rank out of 3 because I do not have enough artifact trait but this would be one that you do want to max out for max AoE. Now another big important one that you're going to want for the golden trait is Call of the Hunter. Now this one does AoE. This one's almost like Legacy of the Wind Runners, except it is AoE. Legacy of the Wind Runners is 6 arrows on one target that you're targeting or hitting and then Call of the Hunter when you mark shot uh, has a chance to call forth a barrage of arrows to strike all vulnerable targets which is huge because your sidewinder spreads to everyone in the area if you have vulner well it does apply vulnerable buff up to everyone that it hits and it has a large large range let me show you right here so all that going around would go to anyone and apply a vulnerable buff up to them and then if you get that in a big pack in uh pvp that applies vulnerable buff up and then your your weapon here has a chance to hit every single target with four arrows that has vulnerable buff up which is huge that does a lot of aoe damage it spreads arrows. now the last one for pvp aoe that you're going to want to be running or unlock uh, as soon as you can is precision increases the critical strike damage or chance of mark shot which is huge three percent and if you max it out nine or ten percent uh, now this goes well with wind runners guidance down here because mark shot increased damage by three percent every single rank uh, and then right here crit strike chance of mark shot increased by three percent every single rank which they both combo well together and mark shot spreads to every single target they have your vulnerable buff up as i said before now for pve or single target uh well it doesn't have to be pvp but just single target not really aoe wise you're gonna want to go for marked for death uh mark for death increases your or mark shot increases your aim shot uh, crit strike chance against a target by 2% for 10 seconds which is huge because if you have your mark shot um, like vulnerable buff up it you can keep reapplying it all the time which means your aim shot uh, crit chances are going to keep going up and up and the higher you have on your rank which means you'll just have a lot of crit damage on your aim shot all the time another one that you're going to want to get is rapid killing true shot also increases your critical strike damage by 50 percent for its duration which true shot lasts for 14 seconds 15 seconds 
and this increasing your crit strike damage by 50% is huge because it's just a huge damage buff. I mean, what else could it be? And it's just overall good in PvP or PvE, but it's more um, like P single target uh, because you usually use like a true shot to increase your haste and get some faster cast off. But it could be used for AoE as well because it does increase your crit strike damage. So for your sidewinders or your vulnerable buff up into mark shot. Now if you want another one for single target PvE or PvP you could go deadly aim increases critical strike damage dealt by aim shot by 5%. And this again would combo real well with rapid killing and uh, precision right here because what it does is every time you mark shot you have your vulnerable buff up obviously and then when you have your vulnerable buff up your mark or not your mark shot but your aim shot do more damage 150 percent more damage and then this by five percent every rank so you would be doing around 170 percent more damage every single aim shot they have vulnerable buff up that's it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this artifact pathing uh let me know if i did anything wrong or any other suggestions in the comments rather than just like leaving hate comments uh just help each other out in the comments help me out stuff like that you know just be positive don't be negative uh let me know what you guys think of the outro that i did uh let me know if you like it better if you like the old one better and that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys are having a good one. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.